Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's uh, it's me, it's BBW guy again. How are y'all? Uh, here with another another little book recommendation for you. It is it's Peepo Two by Felipe Smith. This is uh, this is Volume Two. Uh, not a lot to spoil here, even though I skipped Volume One. I'll try to just go through it quickly, show you guys a few highlights, but y'all definitely gotta pick it up. This is a must buy great artist uh felipe smith he also created the character robert reyes for marvel comics so uh he he definitely has some some credits to his name he has some note and as you can see even just here on the cover he's got a lot of skill uh you can see it here with the pants with the wrinkles the folds here you can see it with the with the effects on the lighting the rim lighting here on the glasses uh, the shoes here have a lot of great details. The shoe strings. Uh, he is also the first American to truly become a mangaka out there in Japan making manga. So, if you don't know about Felipe Smith overall, just check out his life. He, I believe he's from Argentina. And then he went on to come and study art here in America. Uh, then he moved to Los Angeles, made the book mbq which is also great i should probably go through and uh hype that up on the channel too as well bring some more attention to that some more love and more knowledge really don't see enough people talking about it uh so i will have to get on that one as well but for right now we got we got people chew here volume two you don't go ahead and open her on up you know great great cover image here this was actually published as a manga in japan through i believe kodansha so Kodansha had this. They uh, put it out monthly. So uh, just immediately we see a lot of great, great expressions, great cartooning. He's not drawing realistically, but you get a lot of great cartooning. We get a lot of great artwork. We get a lot of great, really knows how to draw women, the female figure, the male figure. To be a manga artist, you gotta be confident. And he's definitely very confident. He can draw anything, draw in any style. You can draw the more photorealistic stuff. Uh, okay, looks like I had something in here. Let's see what? Okay, this is uh, actually some some work from one of my students. Uh, he actually drew this. He yeah, drew this for one of my assignments. So let me, let me move that out of the way here. Excuse me. But yeah, we see a lot of great expressions here. He's got great character designs, distinctive character designs. You can tell everybody apart great storytelling here panel layouts great geography you can see where everyone's at in the room here in this third panel on our left hand side here again distinctive characters great great expressions here great personality the designs really show off the personalities of the characters fast forward a little bit uh Great use of mood, shifting in mood. We can tell even though this is black and white, the mood has changed, the tone has changed just based on the panels, the rhythm the panels create. We look here, we can see a lot of great cartooning here. And these female faces too, this, this face, that's a great face. That's just well done. That's a really cool one. Come over here. Again, more great expressions. Just just a lot of great art. A lot to love here. Um, you'll, you'll also notice as you read Felipe Smith's work, he's, he's very sardonic, very sarcastic, very, uh, I guess, just, just acerbic. Just, just kind of a, an angry guy creatively uh, railing against hypocrisy. He notices those things that, that don't add up, don't make sense, and He's not afraid to be vocal about him. Uh, I think it's great. He he kind of uses this people chew series to uh, to not only look at what people are doing in America, but you know how people act in Japan as well. Uh, different prejudices people have. It's, it's a deep series. It, it, on the surface, it might be kind of goofy, kind of violent, uh, might look kind of silly, but there's really a lot of depth to it. There's a lot to dig into. Uh, as I mentioned earlier about the artist himself, there's a lot to dig into in just in his past and his backstory. Uh, here we go. This is another great example. He's a great talent. Definitely one of the most talented artists 
uh, in the world. Um, I think that's clear here. You'll you'll definitely hear me say that the artist of Don Da Don, and uh, that is a Japanese manga by Tatsu Yokonobu, I believe the man's name is, but uh, he he's the best. But this is very close. This is this is really great. You get so much great motion, so much great movement, great speed line, sense of rhythm. Characters' expressions are there. Look at the just the attention to detail, uh, the level of wrinkle there to really create that impact on the face is just excellent i mean there is really not too much better than that so all right here we go this is uh this again this is people chew uh volume two you guys go go ahead and pick it up if you can uh and if you can't you know work on that save up go find it get it on ebay do what you can it is worth the effort uh, there are three volumes, you know, check it out. You will not be disappointed. All right. Bye-bye. Y'all, uh, y'all be blessed.